my goodness. I cannot believe that, that I'm saying 2018. It doesn't feel right. But anyways, it is the first video of 2018, and I am very excited. Um, if you guys watched my New Year's video, thank you so much. That is one of my favorite videos that I've ever made. I love making the year and recap video. It's one of my favorite ones because it's such a good video, and it's got a really good meaning, and the music's always really good, and so I love making, I love making travel diaries. They are my favorite things to make. But what I've strayed away from on my YouTube channel is beauty, and that's what I'm trying to bring back in 2018 is beauty and lifestyle and stuff like that because I really strayed away from that in the past, in like the past like six, eight months, kind of in the past year. I've kind of thrown all that away, and so I'm trying to bring it back because I got some new makeup for Christmas, and so I'm really excited. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my vanity and my collection because I got this vanity for Christmas, and my collection, it is not big, but I mean, I think it's a pretty nice collection. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, it's nothing compared to all the big YouTubers that you watch, but I like to watch smaller YouTubers as well, so that would be myself, and I love watching other people's, what, seeing their makeup collections and stuff, so by any means I'm not trying to brag about any of my makeup collection, but I just thought I would show you guys because I love watching people's, and so with showing you guys this, you guys can comment and let me know what you want me to use to, uh, put in tutorials and stuff. I was gonna do, like, um, a mitt each because I got I finished my naked palette collection and I'm very very excited about that I have all what is it six palettes one two three four five I have all five palettes and I'm very very excited about that so um I thought I would do a different like a different eye look with every makeup palette I thought that would be kind of fun I don't know we'll see we'll see what you guys think leave me a comment in the below what you guys want me to do if you guys want me to do like a daily look or like an eyebrow or like a face or the whole thing. You guys just let me know. It's what you guys want is what we are going to ultimately do. But to start out with, my friend told me I should film this, so we're going to film this. So let's get started. Okay, so to start out with, I think we should start out with my brushes since they are right here. I have two things of brushes. Um, here's the first one. These are like uh, top and bottom brushes and extra brushes. And then these are like my main brushes that I have. So I don't really have them separated into any type of thing, but those are my brushes. Now, let's get into my eyeshadow palettes. They are my favorite thing. They're my most, like, prized possession of all of my makeup. So, we'll start out with um, the newest ones that I have. Um, I have my Tartlet Toasted Palette. I got this one for Christmas, and I'm very, very excited about it. It is one of my favorites. Then I have the other Tartlet uh, Palette. It is super duper cute. Um, I love both of them. I don't use both of them. I don't use this one a lot, but it's got some really pretty colors in it, and so does the Toasty Palette. I love doing these types of colors on my eyes. They always look so pretty, so I'm very excited. I have the Tardis Pro Palette from Tarte. Now we will start with the Naked Palette, since that's the ones that I have the most of. I have the Naked One Palette. Where's it? Here is the Naked 2 palette. Here is the Naked 3 palette. And then these are not numbered, but all of these are falling. Oh my goodness. The Smoky palette. There's that. You can tell that I've used this one a lot and I've traveled with it because it is broken. And then here is the latest one, the Naked Heat palette. And here is that. Next in the Urban Decay Naked palette, this is the Naked Ultimate Basics. It has some pretty colors in it. And now we will go over to Lorac. I only have, I had two palettes of Lorac, but I gave one of them away. But this is the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. I think I got this about a year ago. I do not have the latest one, but I got this one a year ago, and it has lots of pretty colors in it. I think they are great for the price that it was. And then this is a kind of a random palette. It is the Nubian palette. Um, I love this palette a lot. I ordered this one online, and I love it. I love the shimmers in it. It is all so pretty. The next drawer we will go into is the one right below these palettes, and this is my everyday stuff like my makeup wipes and my contacts and my Invisalign. So that is all that's in that drawer. The next part of my vanity we will go to, we will go over here to the right side. Um, here is 
of course this drawer and I got my little candle lit and my mirror I love this mirror uh, this is all of my products that I use like on the daily um, like my perfume and lotion and makeup setting spray and this fun kind of lotion stuff that I got from Bath and Body Works and hairspray so there's that next we will open up this drawer it is one of my favorite drawers because it is my lip drawer um, I have all of my lip collections in here um, here we can look at them really fast. Um, here's all of my Kylie lip kits, and I'm missing one of them, but, and then that is a ColourPop, of course, and then here's all of my other lipsticks, and those are my e.l.f. lipsticks, and these are all my samples and stuff that I've gotten in, like, lip glosses over the years. I will head over to the drawers. The top drawer has all of my foundations in it that I've collected and all kind of my face products that I have. Um, so I have, of course, my Rihanna sticks. I have uh, this Beauty Gems palette that I got on Black Friday. I have my favorite contour kit, the Anastasia one, and all of the different foundations that I have tried out and of course my beauty blender that needs to be cleaned and there's some more blushes back here and my hula bronzer love that as well so there's kind of all of my face products the next drawer is going to have all of my highlighters because I feel like the highlighters needed a drawer I don't know it kind of made me feel better to have my highlighters in a drawer I don't even have a lot of them but my by far my favorite one is this Too Faced one, I got this one a long time, it wasn't a long time, it was a couple months ago, but I love this one to death. But I do love these palettes as well. This one, I think it was a limited time one. Love, love, love that one. I've used so much of one of these colors, it is that one. Love it. And then I got this one recently, my Afterglow palette. Um, I think, yeah, Dee got that for me, and I love this palette as well. With all the different highlighters, they are so pretty. And then, for Christmas, I got these Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea drops. They are so pretty. You see these people on Instagram using those, and I absolutely love them. You can add them to different stuff. You don't just have to use them for highlighter. And these are some of my other liquid highlighters that I have tried out in, like, little kits that I've gotten. Next, this drawer is kind of busy and has a lot going on, but it is my... It's got my eyebrow stuff. My favorite right now is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I've used the Cub Brow by Benefit, and I love it as well. Um, I have um, the kit from Benefit, and I still use this, the high brow stick. I love it. And the pencil, I actually used all of it, but I love it as well. And this brow gel, so nice. And I love all of the brow gels. Right now I'm using the Anastasia because I'm really into Anastasia at the moment. Um, then this over here is my eyeliners. I have so many different eyeliners and I try all different ones. I've finally, I tried a new one today. I think I'm using this one. It's a NYX one and it is my favorite right now. But I was using the Maybelline New Eye Studio for a long time. It's like a dip one that you use with a brush. So if you like that better, that's always fun. And these are my mascaras. These are just some of them. Um, my favorite one. I don't really have a favorite one at the moment. I like the Better Than Sex mascara. I got this in like a little pack on Black Friday and I love it but I have all these different mascaras because you know you can never have too much mascaras and then this is old but it is the unique uh, little kit for nice eyelashes I don't really know if it does much it, it's it's pretty good I like it but I've pretty much used all of that then and the next drawer is my lashes that need to be put away and then this is more eyeshadow palettes these are the baby eyeshadow palettes that I have this one I just got new from MAC. It is really pretty. Then I have another Tarte one that I got last year for Christmas. It's cute. It's got a couple colors in it. And then this is super duper old, but the Naked 2 Urban Decay Basics. I have used so much of this one, but I love it. And then last year, Black Friday, they had these on sale, the Urban Decay eyeshadow primers. And this is my favorite eyeshadow primer when I do prime my eyes for eyeshadow. And then this drawer in the very bottom is kind of busy. It's got a lot going on. Um, it's got all my extra stuff. I buy so many things in makeup wipes and forget that I buy them and then I put them random places and then they're just there. But here is those. I have all those and then all my tester products that I have um, down here that I've given. And then uh, extra stuff like more makeup setting spray that I haven't used yet. 
So yeah, this is one of my favorite eyeshadows that it needs to go up here. Um, so there is all of that. The last thing that I want to show you guys is where I keep my hair products. Um, really not products, but stuff that I use. Just my straightener and my clip and then my brush. Obviously it goes right in there. So that is my vanity tour. Hello guys. Um, so yeah.